Welcome to Electron Line. For some of us who can see things more visually, we have a method called the FOIL method. Again, it accomplishes the same thing. It takes a trinomial and it puts it into a factored form, but it kind of leads us in a more easily seen way. So let's go through the, the process. First of all, we need to draw what we call a FOIL. We just simply draw a big X. It looks like there's two swords on top of one another like that. Next, on the left side, we're going to determine what we call the products of the x squared coefficient. The coefficient of the x squared term in this case is a 1, so the only way you get a 1 is simply by multiplying a 1 times a 1. So on the left side of the cross, you draw the two numbers that when you multiply them together, you get the coefficient of the x squared. Then on the right side, you want to draw all the various combinations that can give you minus 10 when you multiply the two numbers together. Now in that case, there's four different combinations. We have a minus 10 and a 1, or a minus 1 and a 10. We can also have a minus 2 and a 5, or a minus 5 and a 2. Those are all the various combinations. When you multiply these two numbers together, we can get a negative 10. Not to find the numbers that will give us the factored form, all we have to do is multiply this number by this number, this number by this number and add them together and see if we get the middle coefficient right here, the coefficient of the x term minus 3. So 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times negative 10 is negative 10. When you add it together, you get negative 9, which is not negative 3, which means those are not the two correct numbers. Next, we multiply 1 times 10 and 1 times negative 1. That gives us a positive 9. Again, it's not the right number because I don't have a negative 3 there. Next, we multiply the 1 times 5 and 1 times a negative 2. When we add that together, we get 3. Close, but not quite because here I have a positive 3 and I need a negative 3. And next, we multiply 1 times 2 and 1 times negative 5. When I add those two together, I get a negative 3, which is the same as the middle term over there. That means I have the right combination numbers, which is I have a negative 5 and a positive 2, which means that this in factored form cannot be written as x minus 5 times x plus 2. And that's the factored form of this trinomial. So that's how the FOIL method works. Again, it makes it easier to follow. It's just a simple process. All you have to do is plug in the coefficients. When you multiply them together, you get the x squared term. And here you put in all the combination of numbers. When you multiply these two numbers together, you get a minus 10, minus 10, minus 10, and minus 10. In this case, there's four combinations. You check each combination by multiplying this number by the number down here, and this number by the number up there. Add them together, and see when you add them together, end up with the middle term over there. And that's how it's done.